Bye. Bye. See you on Dallas. Not you, fucker. I'm talking to the dog. Good morning. It is literally like 7 o'clock in the morning, 6.50, something like that, 6.45. We are on our way to Dallas, and we're going to trade two bikes for a car today. So, I don't know if you guys watch my other channel, Time Out, but uh, I've got basically like a little bit of leftover stock of inventory of bikes because I was going to open up a motorcycle dealership called Gorilla Rockets. It ended up not working out because I didn't have the time and also because we needed the space for a PCC. Yeah, this is probably making no sense if you don't watch the other channel. But anyway, long story short, I've got leftover inventory of bikes. Didn't know what to do with them. So this guy wanted to trade two bikes for a really cool car and we're going to go do it. So we're headed to Dallas and we're running late. So. Supra? A Supra? It is. Are you oh, wow. <laughs> this thing is pretty damn cool. <laughs> so quick story time. Last night, he had a hole in the sidewall and couldn't find one because it's an 18 inch wheel with a 285-35 Supra impoundment tire. So anyways, I just had no other clue what to do because he was like, well, I don't know what to do. We don't, I don't know how to drive it home after that. So I just got on Snapchat and I posted saying I was looking for the tire and looking for it in Dallas. Luckily a fan messaged me and uh, he actually came last night at like 10 30, 11 o'clock or something like that and came and hand delivered them from two hours away here. He went and got it mounted today. So that's how we got a new tire on the back now. Yes, yeah, so I'll back it up so you can see it more on okay. the Yeah, cool deal. <laughs> Definitely an interesting car. <laughs> Everything on the car, it's basically new. The white body about brand new. The bags are new. Well, there's no other issues with it at all? No, it runs fine. Nah, but this thing, man, you drive it on, I promise you. Can, every person that comes in will come, like, record you, take pictures. Oh, yeah. you know, this thing breaks so many necks. So on the BMW, what do you have? Is this a full exhaust on it or is it just from the... Yeah, it's full exhaust on both bikes. They are super dirty. They were clean whenever we left this morning, but we've been driving through rain and it's been throwing dirt and mud and everything else all over them. So. But whenever they're cleaned up, they're, like, spotless. Right, Ed. I'll come back after I get some cheese stored. Cheese? Yeah. All right. Your mom needs cheese. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long time since I've driven a bad car. Yeah. It's been, you I think, it? three years since I had my Z. Uh, really? You had a, oh, a 370, right? Mm -hmm. 370. I had a 370. It was carbon, everything, and the interior was done. It had wood trunk and had... Everything. Yeah, it was It was very, awesome. very, very done. <laughs> nah, so, yeah, I'm excited because this gives me another project. Yeah, I was saying, this was a pretty... I mean, just saying, this car is nice, man. It rides yeah. pretty good. The airbags are still new. Like I said, it's, it's a pretty fun car. Heck yeah. <laughs> So, I'll see you over there. All right. As if this isn't just my luck. Check that out. So the new tire that, uh... Okay. I'm like in the middle of the road next to some houses. There's just a nine millimeter laying on the ground. Anyway, um, a new tire that he tried to put on this morning, I guess didn't work and failed. And then I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit unhappy because I found out that the wide body kit apparently was not put on the best and I literally just found out because I needed to go look under there to see why the, what happened with the tire and whatever and this is what I see, check it out. Now the issue is that I have no tools, I've got no jack, I've got no literally anything at all and we're on the side of the interstate with no way to change out anything, so lovely. Hmm, it's a pretty nice car to be in the middle of the street for some reason. Yo, hi. Good. What's up, dude? Come check this out. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. We mm. almost crashed. Really? Yeah. When it happened, the car swerved and almost hit the side of the interstate. Nice. That's that's all right. Well, we're gonna be here for a minute, so might as well film some uh 
riveting content. All right, so let me explain to you guys why I got this thing. And honestly, I'm kind of regretting it now. <laughs> First off, I had some bikes left over from Gorilla Rockets, like I said, that I just didn't know what to do with. This guy offered to trade. Of course, I just wanted to trade to get rid of them. Plus, it's a cool car, right? Well, it looked cool from pictures until I started getting up close to it and realizing that the wrap might not be ACW quality. <laughs> This one I think is one of my favorite spots. It's definitely not the best. And then on the inside, if you see here, normally these pieces of metal here are supposed to get welded up because that actually goes and leads directly to the inside of the trunk. And I now see why he doesn't like driving this car in the rain and it's because water will go straight into there and ultimately into the trunk, which sucks. So that's gonna have to also get fixed. I don't know anybody that can weld body panels, but we'll find somebody, I'm sure. We're gonna have to tack weld those, run a nice bead, refit the body kit after that. And uh, it's gonna definitely have to get rewrapped because this thing is just... <laughs> This is one of the funniest wrap jobs I've seen in a while, to be honest. So yeah, it's not the best. But hey, it's a good um, project, maybe. Yeah, good fix the wrapper. I literally paid a guy last night $500, 500 to drive two hours to get this tire put on this wheel because the last one had a pinhole on the sidewall and couldn't get patched. And so we were trying to get it fixed so that I could drive it home because the problem is that this car does not fit into a trailer. Obviously, it's uh, a little wide. And we're four hours from home. And so how else were we gonna get it back except for drive it? So I paid $500 to have the dude like rush over there, get it over there, they go get it put on today. And literally 30 minutes after we leave, we almost crash because it just debeads going down the interstate. We're literally going like 70 miles an hour or so following Daniel in the truck and it just debeads. <laughs> So that was fun. I didn't get that on video. We almost hit the sidewall, the interstate, and it was just a blast. We exited, and here we are. Yeah, dude. So what really does it for me is the cross-threaded license plate bolt that instead of just taking out and getting put back in, feel that. Feel how tight that is. Just actually, with your hands, feel how tight that is. Yeah. What? I just noticed that there's a Tomei decal under the wrap, but it's not even, it doesn't even have a Tomei on it. It probably used to. It's that, probably too loud, and then he took it off. For a Gretty. Dude, why is this always a thing? Well, deal's done, so like I can't do anything now. The biggest thing is just getting it home. This really isn't that big of a deal, except for the fact that we're four hours from home with no way to get it home. Well, it needs That's, to get rewrapped for sure. It needs. We already knew it needed to get rewrapped. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Whenever I left this morning, it oh. was I was told that this was a flawless car that was like the most well-built FRS, period. I like that. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh God, I'm just. This is, I'm a, it's a, I'm a walking meme. That's what it is. Well, anyways, we're gonna wait on homeboy to get here. So the goal, I think, at the moment is to put the car, uh, the rears at least, on the stock wheels because the fronts can't put the stock wheels on it because it would rub the bags. He said, and it would pop the bags. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I gotta drive this car. Uh, four hours back home and we still haven't even eaten lunch yet and I haven't eaten yet today and I'm pretty hungry and it's one o'clock and I was trying to get home before dark because he said that the headlights right now don't I love all this horsepower around here. It's just so much. He said that the headlights aren't very bright. And so we were trying to get home before dark, but now even if we left, like literally right now, there's no way that we could. So that kind of sucks too. So really, I'm just gonna try to get the damn car on the trailer and whatever happens, happens. So not only is there nowhere to scrap the car as well, if we were to put it on the trailer, but I just now noticed this too. And this might be my favorite part of the car too. There's not a lug nut on, on here. Hell yeah. My concern is we can't put the socks in the front because it'll rub the bags and punch, puncture them, obviously. I don't want to go and just, you know, try to drive four hours on the fronts like that again because if they DB'd like the rear, mm -hmm. I'll lose control of the car and then we would actually crash. I'm just hungry. I just want to go eat. Well, we might be able to. Oh, oh, look. Oh, well, shit. Oh, yeah. As soon as we got on the interstate, it DB'd it and it was like almost lost it on the interstate. So. Oh, man, I should not have trusted it. But I, I, it was only there, though. It was just a small leap. Yeah. <sighs> You have a breaker bar, a torque wrench, or that's all you got? Oh my god. I don't even know where I'm gonna scrap it once I put it up here, so I don't know what the... I don't even know if it's gonna go. Alright. It's touching, we can... It's gonna scrape, but it's not gonna take it off. We're gathering rotten wood from the side of the road to try to use, because, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Actually, now, I hope... hope the Hopefully. wheel's clear once yeah. we get them up. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to either. Yep.
It's not gonna clear over here. Uh, <laughs> the best plan to do is go to the like AutoZone real quick and just buy some spacers. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be the only way yeah. I think. Nice. Can y'all hear the crackhead screaming bloody murder over there? He's just standing on the side of the interstate punching windshields and yelling at people as they pass and I don't, I don't yeah, know. That's... This one did it in for me as well. This is a nice one. Three ace husky ratchet. And this is what we uh what we drove with. He actually Tighten the wheels with these on the rear, and that's what we were driving on. So I'm glad I didn't fucking die, yeah. <laughs> honestly. Oh yeah, wow, these are not tight at all. <laughs> this is gonna be a project. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video because this video just got expensive as shit. Right now, homie ran down the road to our local Advance Auto Parts, which by the way, guys, didn't know. You can use code is just a six right now and save 25% off all orders on Advance Auto. We were lucky enough that they had some spacers in stock. Why is there a Crown Vic with a V8 revving coming down here? That's cool. And then to top it off, it's raining. Because all good things happen in the rain, huh? Isn't that the channel thing? <laughs> oh, shit. What happened? I don't think they're the right side. This is Daniel's idea, but we're going to try and put a glove. Honestly, it might not be the worst idea. We're going to try and put a glove inside like, like this. And so that way. It's like a little mini spacer. <laughs> Got it started? Yeah. How is it with the bag? No, it's already running. So the spacers didn't work, so now we're back with washers. Hopefully we can at least get like two threads on there. Still and it's still rolling. It about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Great. All right. Well. Yep, we're just gonna have to run three then. Yep, you're straight. Turn left. Turn left a little bit. What was that? It was the skirt. Skirt skipped over the edge. Just turn left. All right, now let's strap this thing up. Good timing. Oh yeah, great. Perfect timing. You are so fucking wet. Oh yeah, I'm fucking wet. <laughs> Oh, sorry. So sorry, Daniel. It's okay. A little bit of backstory for you guys that maybe don't know what the f is going on. We just got back, like I said, from San Antonio literally yesterday. I told Daniel, I was like, dude, I'm so sorry that we've been doing so much. I can't wait to be home because then we're just going to be able to relax. Well, then this whole thing came out of nowhere, so I was like, well, damn. All right, I'm going to go meet this dude. Daniel, you want to come? And he was like, shit, all right. We'll go eat out of town. We've had this beautiful trip planned, and it's not going as planned. I'll just say, thank God that this camera is waterproof. Well, it's not. It's water resistant. <laughs> thank God it's water resistant. Good morning. <laughs> oh god, this is a project here, huh? Whew. I just woke up. Uh, I was hoping that this car was not going to be here and this was just a bad dream, but it is here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get the trailer unloaded. I'm going to have to leave the car here because I don't have anywhere to keep any more cars. But what I am going to do today is hopefully try to remount our tire over there that came debeated. And I'm hoping that once we remount it, I can maybe take it home, unload the car off of the trailer later this afternoon and put the wheel back on it. And maybe we'll be fine to drive it around a little bit. I ordered a new tire, by the way. I think the reason why this one debeated is because it's a used tire for one, but for two, it's a stiff sidewall tire. And uh, it's definitely not meant to be stretched, especially not stretched like that. That's a, that's a lot of stretch. So anyways, I ordered the same tires that are on the other three wheels so that they would be matching. And uh, I'm just waiting on it to come in now. So temporary. Temporarily, I'm gonna to try to fix it and get it to where I can at least get it off the trailer and have it able to, I don't know, maybe cruise to work. Maybe. This is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna really blow. I'm gonna try it without bead sealer first. See if I can get it. Probably not. And then I'll probably have to try to, I don't know. What are, what are the chances you think that I could just hit it one time? It's just gonna just hit seal. Zero. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. What about if we put a ratchet strap around the whole thing? Yeah, try to squeeze it and make it poke out. Yeah. Did we get it? Come on, baby. Yo! <laughs> yes! Wait a second. Is me? Yep, it was. <laughs> no! What is the noise? No. Gosh. No, Why don't you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the problem right now that we're having is that this is a stiff sidewall tire, like I was saying. It's not meant to be stretched at all, um, but we're stretching it. And so the problem is that the bead is not wanting to seat up against the wheel, and that's why we're having air leaking out. It probably didn't help that we drove on it without it even being mounted technically for like a mile and a half yesterday. So, right. like I said, the only thing that I'm trying to do now is just get the damn thing on the car just to move it off of the trailer so that we can use the trailer today 
for uh, a Junk of the Month video, which you guys, by the time that this video goes up, have probably seen. So bead sealant is essentially like liquid cement that you put on the inside of the bead, so that way it grabs better. And we're gonna have to try the ratchet strap trick again. Come on, Johnny. Well, um, make sure the hose isn't catching fire. <laughs> That's dope. That didn't work at all. <laughs> well, we're back. <laughs> I gotta get this thing off of the trailer. Nope. What? It's starting. Oh, crying. no, it, it definitely is now. I see it. Yep. Cool. Are you kidding? <gasps> Only good stuff happens when it wanes. <laughs> so anyway, the plan right now is to get this car dropped off the trailer. I'm gonna keep the car right here. Uh, and then I need to take the trailer back up to the shop. So uh, I have this chain lube here. We're gonna spray this chain lube onto the bag. So that way the tire doesn't puncture the bag. Hopefully it gives it a little bit of lubrication. And then also, uh, yeah, that's it. What up dog? Okay, now here's the fun part too. Come on puppy. <gasps> That's the fun part? No. Y'all remember when that was a secret? <laughs> that was funny. That was also a secret at one point. Uh, no. Oh, that. Yeah, I cracked and broke the side oh, skirt down oh, here. that. Because it hit right there. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get it down without, you know, hitting it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Mind you, I saw this car on the internet from about, every picture was about 10 feet away, so it looked awesome. But what I didn't get to see is all of the f***ed up wrap everywhere. Mm-hmm. And whenever I texted the guy, I was like, is there any issues with it? Like even one single problem. And he was like, nah, dude, the car is flawless. It is perfect. And so I was like, damn, okay. It looks great from over here. That's what I'm saying. Full start! So here was the problem is that you see how cambered the front wheels are? The stocks are hitting the bag up here. So I'm gonna use this lube. Really? You're oh. kidding. Maybe not. Oh, there, there you go. Goes. Yeah, try that again, because you're actually pretty close. Okay, turn to the right a little bit. There you go. You're actually clear now. Just keep going straight back. All right, you're on the ground. You're on the wood, so you're gonna... All right, you're on the ground. You're good. That's where I'm gonna have to leave it. For now. All righty. What a accidental project, huh? God. It looks pretty cool if you stand far away. It'll look cool once we rewrap it, fix the body kit, patch up the cut up fenders, and uh, also get the wheels back on it. And then it'll look good, I think. I did not expect for this much work to be having to be had. Yet another day with this damn FRS in the same video, but we're putting some tires on this thing today. Well, I guess not some tires, but we're putting some wheels back on the car. We did manage to finally get the damn bead seat on this wheel, and it's holding air, which is great. Check it out. Ta-da! Hooray. So now I'm gonna try and get this thing jacked up and put the wheels on it and maybe even take it to the office if it'll drive there. I don't know. I'm afraid that the tire is gonna de beat again, but I need to get it up to the office because I'm not gonna keep it here. I just don't have any more room for cars here. Rather than a 3 8 scratch it, we're gonna use a <gasps> breaker bar to take the wheels off. And then we're gonna use a wheel socket. Whoa! This might sound crazy and I don't know why, but I'm enjoying every single fucking second this time. about to happen that I'm gonna make a kill and I got dreams and I Yep, we definitely got lucky. Anyway, now you can kind of see a little bit more of this damage inside of here, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to see too, too much on it, especially on camera, until we pull the uh, the wide body off and get to get down to the bare car and see what it looks like underneath this whole entire just mess, honestly.
Oh, victory. <laughs> We got the car to the house and on the ground and it's sitting on its own weight now on the right wheels. This is incredible. No bags punctured, no nothing. This is literally a two day ordeal of hell and I finally made it through it. <laughs> Check it out. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Well, there we have it. We've got a freaking FRS on the ground. Finally, with the right wheels on. And all the wheels actually are holding air and have tires on them. This was a pretty hellacious ordeal, which led to a bunch of, you know, just broken body panels and it's just a, a big mess, honestly. So I think I definitely signed myself up for a project. And this is the part where I don't know what to do with the car because I didn't even really plan on any of it. I thought it was gonna be a perfect car ready to go because that's what I was told. It just turned out that somebody wasn't really telling the truth. And um, so it's mine now. I don't know what to do with it though. I don't know if we're gonna give it away on Instagram. I don't know if we're gonna build it to be a 2J swapped or LS swapped monster or if we're just gonna, I, I don't know, use it as a junk of the month. I'll let you guys vote. Go vote down below in the comments below and uh, we'll read them because I'm really curious i really have no idea what to do with this thing well guys there you have it um that was a really just that was a lot of a pain in the ass honestly that wasn't even a little bit of a pain in the ass that was just a lot but we got it home and it's here and it looks pretty decent from far away but it's gonna need a lot of work it's gonna need to get rewrapped i'm gonna have to pull all these body parts off and i'm going to have to seal up the seams inside of there because last night we were looking that you can literally see the speakers the rear speakers inside of the trunk area and in the rear uh seat area you can see straight through the rear fenders to see the speakers it's pretty crazy i'll show you guys all that next video though i'm just happy to get it back home so anyways guys with that being said geez thank you guys for watching this was an entertaining one i think i don't i don't think really god what a what a toad doesn't that thing just look like a toad just looks like a frog anyways guys thanks for watching drop a like on this video subscribe if you have not already comment down below and let me know what the hell i should do with this thing <laughs> and i'll see you guys next video Don't know.